Officials in Yemen say that they have arrested one of al-Qaeda's most dangerous members. The government there has been cracking down on terrorists since the Christmas bombing attempt on the U.S. airliner. And the suspected bomber is believed to have trained in Yemen. Our CNN's Mohammed Jamdoum looks at Yemen's influence in this volatile region. It is the poorest country in Arabia, a country of impenetrable mountains and wide expanses of desert, strong clan and tribal loyalties. The government's influence is weak beyond the main cities. Its oil revenues have fallen sharply and it's running out of water. Unemployment is high and very nearly half of Yemenis are age 14 or under. But Yemen matters because of where it is. It has a near 1,000 mile border with oil rich Saudi Arabia, much of it unmarked, some of it disputed. Uh, 25 million folks sandwiched in a very small piece of territory next to almost 30 million in Saudi Arabia with all, lots of territory, lots of resources. Yemen's coastline looks out on one of the world's major shipping lanes from the Suez Canal to the Indian Ocean. Across the Red Sea, less than 100 miles away in places, lies the anarchy of Somalia, already a stronghold of Al-Qaeda affiliates. And it's in this strategically located country that the government is fighting not one battle, but three. Uh, Yemen is a failing state. It's not yet a failed state. You have a collapsed economy. You have multiple political, ideological, and tribal fault lines that are pushing the country to all-out war. Besides a resurgent al-Qaeda, there is a long-running Shiite rebellion in the north and a separatist movement in the south. So all these problems coming together at one time, uh, undermining the government ability to deal with the situation. Yemen's al-Qaeda problem first came to light when the USS Cole was attacked in Aden Harbor in October 2000, killing 17 U.S. sailors. Since then, it appears to have gotten worse. More and more extremists have crossed from Saudi Arabia, forming al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and easily obtaining training and weapons. It was a Saudi citizen who had fled to Yemen that tried to assassinate Saudi Arabia's deputy interior minister this year, the closest al-Qaeda has ever come to carrying out one of its stated goals, to kill members of the Saudi royal family. For so long below anyone's radar, as attention focused on Pakistan and Afghanistan, Yemen is now front and center in the battle against al-Qaeda. Mohammed Jamjum, CNN, Dubai.